Seth Rollins shares his thoughts on CM Punk, Bronson Reed on how his WWE return occurred, and more. A clip of Seth Rollins during Royal Rumble weekend calling CM Punk a cancer went viral. Well, now he kind of elaborates a little bit more on why he said what he said. Take a look. During Royal Rumble weekend, Seth Rollins made it clear he doesn't want CM Punk back in WWE. During an interview with Wrestling Inc.'s Nick Houseman at a WWE 2K23 event, Seth Rollins was asked about some free agents and whether he would like to see them back. And when he was asked about CM Punk, this is what Seth Rollins had to say. Stay away, you cancer. Get away from me forever. I don't like Phil. He's a jerk. Did we just figure that out? We figured it out over there. We knew it over here. I don't want him back. Go do something else. Bye-bye. See you later. However, now on a recent interview with Covino and Rich on Fox Sports Radio, Seth Rollins was asked once again about CM Punk. Seth Rollins said he wouldn't be repeating the same things that he said during that interview with Nick Houseman, but he did go on to elaborate a little bit more on why he said what he said and whether or not he would welcome CM Punk in WWE. Take a look. Seth Rollins said, I'll say one thing about CM Punk. I'll end it on a positive note with him. The guy has given my career so much that it pains me to have to say bad things about him. He helped me out. He really did. He's been a good guy to me for a lot of my career. But for whatever reason, for the past maybe six, seven years, he's in a different headspace and we're not on the same page. To see kind of what he's done and taken and taken, it's always been about him. I'm not a fan. I'm just not a fan. There's a place for him, man. He's got a lot to give. I just wish his head was in the right spot. CM Punk and Seth Rollins had a brief history in WWE as part of an angle with The Shield throughout 2013 and 2014. CM Punk's contractual status with AEW is still currently unknown as he recovers from a torn triceps injury that he suffered at last September's All Out. Dave Meltzer had previously reported that there were talks of a buyout after the post All Out fight between himself, a steel Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks, but news on that has been quiet. And now on to our next story in which Bronson Reed explains his return to WWE. Bronson Reed has opened up about his release from WWE and what led to his return to the company last December. Bronson Reed was a guest on an episode of After the Bell with Corey Graves released today. During the discussion, he spoke about his release back in 2021, saying that he put a chip on his shoulder. However, it might have been beneficial to his career. He said, quote, to me, I was just angry that I didn't get to do more with the WWE, which then, like I said, put a chip on my shoulder. I went out there and did whatever I could to be the best that I could be, which obviously got me seen to come back. So in the end, I think it was a little gut-wrenching at the time, but it might have been beneficial for my career. Reed worked as Jonah in Impact Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling from late 2021 until December 2022. He took part in the G1 Climax 32 and finished with eight points, a 4-2 record, and perhaps most notably, a victory over the eventual tournament winner, Kazuchika Okada. Additionally, Reed continued to say that he texted Triple H to see if there was an interest in his returning to WWE, in which he said, quote, I was actually here at home and it was Triple H that called me. I always had a great relationship with him. At the time, I was working with New Japan Pro Wrestling and it looked like I could do one of two things. I could have signed on with them to stay longer or I could have came back to WWE. I sent a text to Hunter just to see if he was interested and he was. So he set up a time to call me. He called me and we had a great chat about everything, not just coming back to WWE, but wrestling in general. What I've been doing, it just felt right. Bronson Reed said he told Triple H that he wants to do things like the Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, and Elimination Chamber. Bronson Reed will take part in his first ever Elimination Chamber match on February 18th, 2023. And last but not least, The Undertaker is set to perform a pair of one-man shows this March. WWE announced today that The Undertaker will perform his Undertaker One Dead Man show in Las Vegas on Friday, March 24th and Los Angeles on Friday, March 31st. Tickets for both shows will go on sale Tuesday, February 14th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
Alrighty, and that was your quick news video for today. As always, let me know what you guys think of these stories in the comments section below, and I'll catch you back here on another episode of The Latest. And if you haven't already, feel free to check out my most recent episode of Speak Now Pro Wrestling.